Hey guys, welcome to this new series. In this series, we are going to compare Django and Fast API by creating the live data project in Fast API that we have already covered up in Django. So this will help us to determine how much of efforts we have to put into both the frameworks. So this is part one series and in this we are going to do the setup, connect to the database and create our models. So let's get started. If we go to the fast APIs homepage, this is how it looks. And if we scroll down here, we can see that there are two things we need to install to get started. So I will start by doing that. We'll switch to VS code and I'll create our virtual environment first, virtual env dot env. Activate the environment and we'll install this. We'll copy the other one and we'll install that as well. In fast API, there is no concept of creating projects by using any command. We just have to create a Python file, do all the imports and uh, write the code and that's it. We can run it. And there exists no model or uh, ORM concept in Django. So for that, we will have to use SQL Alchemy. So I'm going to install SQL Alchemy and Pydentic as well. Oh, wait, uh, it must have already installed the Pydentic. So I'm going to install the SQL Alchemy now. So it is pip install SQL Alchemy. Code link is given in the description. So you all can check that out. Uh, it also consists of requirement.txt. So you all can directly copy from there what we need to install. In this video, we are going to create two files. One will be models.py and other will be database.py. So database.py will consist of all our connection string and connect to database settings and models.py will consist of our model. So let's create our database.py first. We have to do few imports. So let's do that as from SQL Alchemy import create engine. So from SQL Alchemy dot ext dot declarative import declarative ways and from SQL Alchemy dot ORM import session maker. So first we are going to create the engine, do a declaration and create session for every every time database connection is called. So I'll give my URL uh, for the database so SQ, uh, SQL Alchemy underscore database underscore URL. I'm going to use SQL Lite database for this project. So SQL Lite. So the database will be in the same directory. So it will be dot this. So access this current directory and sql underscore app dot db now we are going to create our session i'll call this as engine this will be create engine we have to pass in the url first so sql database url then i'm going to give some connection argument so connect arcs and over here we, i'm going to specify check same thread is to false check same thread as false everything that i'm coding in database.py is coming from fast apis website itself so let me quickly do a search and show you all So if we scroll down over here, there should be a file called as database.py. Okay, so there is no file called as database.py, but if you see over here, I'm I'm just trying to do these all things. Okay, so let's go back to the code and uh, let's continue. So I'm going to create a variable called as session session local, and this will be session maker. This will be taking in session maker auto commit as false auto flush as false and bind will be the engine so where this session maker takes in uh, these three parameters auto commit as false auto flush as false bind will give us the engine 
so that we can use this session to like do all the commits and then close the session so that we don't really open database connections every time we want to hit the database okay and now base will be declarative base and there will be a function function will be get underscore db this will be try and db will be session local object and we are going to return instead of return we are going to do yield yield db and then in finally we are going to close the session so db dot close here there is one more step that step is equivalent to doing migrations in uh, django and migrating it to the database so i'm going to use base dot metadata dot create uh, it is create all and bind will be engine so this line will take up all the models that have base imported take its metadata and create create the table in the database okay and we are going to create the models now so let's create a file models.py inherit it over here here we'll start by doing all the imports so from pydentic import the base model just spell the import incorrect yes so import base model from sql alchemy import column date time enum integer string and text and then from sql alchemy dot sql import func also we need to import the base that we created in the database so i'm doing that now from database import the base and there will be two more imports actually three more imports two of them are as following so from enum i have to import the enum but uh, as you can see there is clash uh, over here so i'm going to reassign this as main enum then from typing import list we'll start by creating our status class in django we had used tuples but over here we are going to use enum so class status this will take in first parameter as what kind of enum class are we trying to create so it is string and then uh, the enum so it is main enum over here and we will have three kinds of statuses so draft will be equal to draft then publish will be equal to publish and third one is archive so archive will be equal to archive and now we are going to create the post model over here so class post this will take in the base and we have to specify table name over here so it will be in underscore underscore table name underscore underscore equal to so i'm going to give posts over here in django's model we never had to create id field but over here we will have to create id field because whatever we are going to give uh, do in post model over here the same thing will be created in our database so because of that we have to create id field it is a column it will be a column in database that will be of type integer integer primary key is true then indexing that is index will be also true and auto increment will be true as we see these are the extra steps that we are doing and furthermore you will see the extra steps that are that i have to perform in this project to run so let's continue now we'll create the first field called as title column it will be a column in the database uh, type will be string and uh, i'll keep it unique as true just like in uh, django project that we had done then there will be a field called as content and this will be column column of type text so text field we can give it and status will be column uh, over here enum 
and enum will be of the type status class okay please take a note this status class is inheriting the main enum that comes from enum and over here the in the column that we have given the enum that comes from sql alchemy enum now there will be uh, two more fields created at and updated at created at will be column of type date time and i'll give time zone as true so that it of course takes in considers the time zone over here and server default will be func dot now uh, let me correct the spelling so uh, what it means over here is created at will be a field of type date time with server uh, means uh, with time zone as true and uh, the default uh, time will be function dot now that is the current time and i'll copy this and paste it change the name to updated at updated at this will remain to be the same just over here instead of server uh, default it will be on update so our post portal is ready uh, if you notice i haven't taken the users field over here because in fast api we don't really have concept of users model by default we will have to create that explicitly and i don't really want to burden y'all with the creation of user model let's try to keep it simple for this project so now this our model is ready okay this model will be used for orm purpose and table creation in database purpose but what about the serializer that we use so something like that for that we will have to create a pydentic model of the same thing and as we update the post model or update as in like if we change anything from the post model we will also have to update the pydentic model so for that i was researching and i found this package not really a package uh pydentic dash sql alchemy it is not yet a package but it is built by of course the same guy who has built uh, the fast api and still experimental so we are going to check out this code which is still in experimental yet we will try to use it in our project so let me copy this ssh so you all can download a zip and just keep it in your project i'm going to do git clone and if we expand this looks to be correct so we need to also import this package or this uh, not the package package in our project so let's do that now it will be from pydentic i have changed the dash to underscore so that it helps in coding from pydentic underscore sql alchemy and then again pydentic dot uh, pydentic underscore sql alchemy import the sql alchemy to pydentic so now the import is done we in, we have to use this for the post model so let's create a variable called as pydentic pydentic post and this will be taking in our uh, sql alchemy to pydentic and we have to pass in the model that we have we want to convert to pydentic so this is how we convert the pydent uh, sql model to pydentic okay if you ask me why do we really require the pydentic model over here so this will not just help us in uh, like type casting the very uh, data but also validating the data so as the user will send us the data we are going to pass it to this pydentic post model and then it will do all the validations so that's why we are making use of pydentic models in django drf we used to give uh, data to the serializer so that it could be sent to the front end and as well as validated over here same thing will happen uh, same thing will happen we have to pass the data to the pydentic post but in django there was a little difference so if we had to serialize multiple objects so like uh, we had to send the list of all the uh, uh, list of queries to the front end we will pass in the data and put a comma then many equal to true in the serializer call but over here that concept is not present so for that we will have to create another 
class pydentic class okay and that will consist of list of this pydentic post so let me show you all what i'm trying to say so there will be one more class called as list i will call this pydentic okay let's paste pydentic post this will take in base model and i'm um, the variable that we'll use is post and this will be of the type list and list of pydentic posts so over here whenever we will have to fetch all the data from the database we will pass it to list pydentic post as post variable and that will be like the entire list will be serialized and uh, we will send that to the user it is equivalent to sending the query set in django along with many equal to true so this is how much of efforts we have to do for that so our models.py is ready our database is ready and our setup is done so this is it for this video guys our setup is done our models.py is ready our database is ready so in the in the next video we are going to cover up the creation of new object and uh, listing all the objects i know this is a little different from what i have been posting previously but i think it will be really fun to experiment along so thank you guys for watching, see you in the next one.